Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. What's going on, you guys? How's it rolling for the Bull Tribe out there? How's it feeling, Taurus? You're feeling safe and secure and calm and collected and well-fed? I hope so. I hope so because that is super important to the well-being of the Taurus. Absolutely critical to the sense of well-being. All right, you guys, we're going to throw some cards for Taurus, all right? Give me a chance to channel. I'll shuffle and pray. I'll lay all the cards out. I'll really confuse you for a second, and I'll sew together a story, okay? Then I'll go back to the top and read it for you in its entirety, all right? Let's do this. Let's do this, Taurus. You ready? Let's do it. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus and what does this particular Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards this Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate? the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their very best and highest good. And I need to stop short because I just feel like I need to stop here. So um, please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. Fantastic, fantastic. Eight of Cups in reverse, Strength in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Hierophant. All in the bottom of the deck. That'll make hella sense to us in just a little bit. All right. First card out is Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, the King, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the High Priestess. Look at that. Six of Wands in reverse, Temperance. The star in reverse to the four of wands and the five of pentacles in reverse. The lovers in reverse. The three of wands in reverse. The knight of cups. The five of wands. The page of swords in reverse. The ten of wands. The hangman. The three of swords. We'll stop at whatever major arcana comes out next, okay? Uh, the... Queen of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have uh, the Tower in reverse. Okay, to the Sun. Fantastic. All right, you guys, let's make some sense out of this. Y'all saw me shuffle those cards, okay? If you're not using reversals, you're only playing with half the deck, Taurus. So let's see what these are. Let's see why there are so many blockages for whoever I am talking to right here. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the first card out, sets the tone for everything, and the Two of Pentacles comes on top of her, okay? All right, Taurus, here's what's happening, okay? Here's what's going on. So, this is a kind of a complicated reading. So, so, so. I'm going to set those up there. Somebody here. So, there's been a theme in our readings here for about, this is probably the third one that is touching on the same theme, okay? The overarching theme of this reading is that there is something huge coming towards you, but you are not cooperating. And they need you to cooperate in order to, in order for you to be able to transform into who it is that you need to be. Okay, this relationship is some kind of significant crossroads in your life and in your spiritual path. Okay, 
and they need you to pay attention because whoever is watching these readings um, is not getting it, okay? Either they're not getting it or someone who has not watched one of these last three readings yet um, is, the universe is just waiting for them to show up so they can hear what it is that they need to hear here because this is the third reading that is asking someone to please, please, please pay attention, okay? All right. So we open up with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We open up with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? Sets the tone for everything. This is a significant relationship in your life. Put it where it goes. That caused you a great deal of pain, sorrow, and grief straight up, right out the box, okay? Pain, sorrow, grief. You used to hold title with each other somehow. You don't hold title with each other now. And it was a very painful experience, okay? Very painful. All right. What's going on? Well, the Two of Pentacles wants you to prioritize and balance out um, what it is they're about to tell you right here, okay? To the hangman, it's time to understand, have a new perspective, cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective, and go about doing things in a different way because you've been doing them this way for far too long and it is time for movement in your life, okay? So bitter, painful, bad ending to what was at one time a very good relationship, okay? All right, love, romance, friends, family, whatever. At some point, it was a very good relationship and it was a long uh, committed relationship, okay, of some sort. The universe needs you to prioritize. They need you to have a new perspective, wheel of fortune, because the universe is trying to move the pieces of the puzzle so you can be where it is that you need to be, so you can be of the best and highest good to your own life, to other people's lives, and to the mission of the universe, okay? All right, they need you to pay attention. There is a gigantic, huge turning point that is going to be orchestrated into your life, but the it's clogged up. It's, it's clogged up with you being stuck in this place of bitterness and resentment. The Ace of Pentacles. There is an opportunity for new there is an opportunity to spread seeds of prosperity, whatever that means for you, in your life, right around the corner. But it can't reach you because this low vibrational negative energy is blocking it from coming in, okay? What's all this bullshit about? Well, bullshit, okay? You need to know before we get started right here that I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I probably will swear and I may or may not smoke my vape on camera. So if any of that bothers you, this neighborhood is too rough and you need to head on down the road, okay? So, bullshit with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, yeah, what's going on here? Well, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, unmet expectations. It didn't work out. It couldn't work out. Tried to work on it, but couldn't work it out. Unmet expectations. And it's it's earth energy, right? It's pentacles. So it's in your sense of well-being, okay? Unmet expectations in your sense of well-being is what this pain of the Nine of Swords in reverse is about. 
Okay, someone didn't appreciate you. Maybe you didn't appreciate someone else. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And it was a lack of success that perhaps you haven't contemplated your accountability for yet. Okay, um, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is if you keep doing things the way that you've always done them, you're going to continue to get things the way that you've always gotten it, right? Which goes back to uh, personal accountability, Okay, because the Seven of Pentacles in the upright, that's someone who is taking account for the effort and the work that they have put into something, but it's not quite enough. And so the guy just taking a step back and he's like, well, what do I need to do to make this better next time? What do I need to do? How do I need to fertilize my soil? What do I need to till up to grow this sense of well-being better next time? In the reverse, it's someone who is just not even freaking doing that at all. In the reverse, it's someone who's just ruminating on the sour taste that is in their mouth about something that they put their everything into, but it did not make a return. Okay, and the Seven of Pentacles is saying you need to take a step back and look at why you are ruminating on this instead of taking it as a learning experience and bettering yourself because of it. Okay, Five of Cups, all in your, in your deep subconscious emotions. Remember, I'm a channeler. I'm tapping stuff that's deep down inside of you, okay? Loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Am I saying you go around on the daily being all distressed? No, not at all, okay? Your deep subconscious mind, what ruminates inside of your subconscious mind is filled with bitterness and and, and a sour taste, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment, emotional undissatisfaction to the queen of pentacles in reverse, upset in the home, the family, the finances. This was like a life, a life, a life crushing disaster, divorce, death, um, well, un, un, unresolved issues with death, I should say. Um, mothers, fathers, uh, brothers, sisters, children. This is a an extremely hurtful time in your life. Okay, to the devil in reverse, and this 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 is this is advising you to release your limiting beliefs, to detach from the toxicity of your own dark thoughts. What are the dark thoughts? The low vibrational bullshit of the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, why didn't it, why wouldn't it. That's low vibrational bullshit and you are drawing into your life the same. And the devil in reverse says detach from this. Release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, your limiting beliefs that this should have been when in fact, maybe it shouldn't have. This is about never wanting to be in a place where you are vulnerable to this kind of pain ever again. Okay? Those are the limiting beliefs beliefs. The Eight of Swords in reverse says it's time for new perspective. It's time to see things differently. It's time to unlock the shackles of your mind that are rooted in the pain that was caused by this relationship. Nine of Pentacles. Bring it to completion. Find your sense of well-being and bring this whole internal subconscious situation that you have not gotten over yet. I'm telling you, whoever's watching this, whoever this is for, you have not gotten over this. You might say, I, I, I buried that, I got that taken care of. No. no, 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 you have not because it is still coming up in my cards and it's coming up as active right now happening inside of you, okay? You can't, you can't, you can't fool the channeler. Okay, it's happening inside of you, right? You need to bring it to an end 
bring it to a culmination, what the tower, this implosion of this situation, circumstance, relationship in your life that has you so downtrodden that you can't see the forest through the trees. Seriously, whoever this is, like I said in the beginning, if you have been watching these past three readings and you're resonating with this, but you are doing absolutely nothing about it, these cards are talking to you. If you're new to the channel and you're seeing this for the first time, we've all been waiting for you to show up so we can move on from this subject matter. Pay attention to what's being said here because somebody ain't getting it, okay? The tower, this implosion that happened in your life. The universe says we need to get you back on track and get you balanced with the two of pentacles. It's time for you to see things in a different way. To the wheel of fortune, there is a turning point. There is good fortune ahead of you. There is the divinely orchestrated path of your life trying to lock into place to the Ace of Pentacles. So you can take what you've learned in this tower situation and build something bigger, stronger, and better because now you know better. You've learned something and if you haven't taken a step back and perhaps that's what that Seven of Pentacles in reverse is about. If you haven't taken a step back and reevaluated why and how you're going about doing something, um, then you need to. You need to. You need to. Maybe you have some fault in some of this. Maybe it was simply just an ignorant choice to engage in this and it all blew up in your face. Um, and by ignorant, I mean making decisions and choosing your life path over letting the universe lead you and guide you and show you your life path. Mm -hmm. A lot of people force relationships because they think that it's the be-all to end-all, um, but they never check in with their soul about it. Or if they do check in with their soul about it, they don't listen to what their intuition is telling them because it's not telling them what they want to hear, right? So check in with yourself. See, see why you, you want to be stuck in this situation. And I say want on purpose because you have the free will to not be stuck in this situation. Find out the lesson that you're supposed to learn from all of this. Apply it to your life so the universe can take you forward. Seven of Swords in reverse. Break free from this futile mentality. It, it serves no purpose for your life or your future. You cannot change not one iota of the past, of what has already happened. You cannot change it. So don't live there. Move forward. Progress. Go forward. There's lots to still accomplish and do. Break free from the futile mentality. The High Priestess, we're talking to you. We're trying to get you to pay attention. We have plans for you. We know the divinely orchestrated steps of your path. We know your destiny, and we're trying to take you there. Listen very carefully to what you feel and hear in your intuition, even at this very moment watching this reading right now. If this is hitting you in your intuition, this is Source using me to verbalize to you, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Why? Why, 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 why? The lovers. Because there is a significantly important relationship that is going to point you in the trajectory of your path and your purpose. It is. It's significant. It's huge. Could it be romantic love? Yes, it could. Could it be anything else? Yes, it could. But it is, it is meant to come into your life. And if you're in this whole 
thing over here, you're not going to be able to navigate your way through it effectively for your best and highest good. You might still engage with it, but it's never going to come to fruition because you are not in a state of mind to be able to function properly in a relationship. That's why they're telling you to get rid of the bullshit. Two of Swords. Very serious crossroads. Why is it such a serious crossroads? Well, because your future, your fate, depends upon this relationship coming into your life. What is it? Well, it's the Ten of Cups. It's everything that makes you feel emotionally fulfilled. To the Queen of Cups, emotionally fulfilled. To the Ace of Wands, it's a brand new opportunity that is going to bring to you the Ten of Cups in your life. Ten is about completion. Cups is water. Water is your emotions. The fulfillment, completion, renewal of, of everything that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Everything that makes you happy. It's trying but you're not letting it. Six of Wands in reverse. You can't win if you don't overcome the battle. This is a win. Where the universe is trying to take you, it's a win. It's a 100% win. All right? But you can't win if you succumb to the battle. What's the battle? Your mind. The playground of your mind that keeps you ruminating over and over and over again on how sucky something was. Mm -hmm. To the Knight of Pentacles. Same old, same old, day in, day out. Ruminating. It just is like, it's like a, it's like a, <laughs> I know this is really gross, but it's the image that came to my mind, all right? It's like a dirty corner, you know? It, like maybe like it, uh, I don't know, some place, like a greasy restaurant or something, okay? The dirty corner, wall, right? Wall, corner. And in that corner is just built up all of this grease and dirt and grime. And it's just, it's just gross, right? And that's kind of how I see and feel the energy f that source is trying to pull you out of. It's almost like greasy, grimy, built up that you just got to take like a flathead screwdriver and just like pry it off of the wall so you can get in there with the bleach and toothbrush and just scrub it out, right? Um, yeah, but that's what you're, that's, that's, that's where you're at. It's like, ugh. it's like a big lump. It's like, ugh. anyway, weird. I know. So, temperance. They're asking you to temper yourself. Take a deep breath. Find some peace in your emotions about the situation. Find some peace in your mind about the situation. Find some peace in your the way you process the situation internally and find some peace in your sense of well-being about the situation. Temper the elements that make up the human nature and find peace in knowing that you know that you know that this tower that happened in your life is because there was no foundation by which to build upon in the first place, okay? The Hermit in Reverse. Withdrawal, isolation, loneliness. Um, th being Major Arcana, the Hermit in the Upright is about deep soul-searching and introspection. The Hermit in Reverse is about not doing that, right? And that goes back to that Seven of Cups in Reverse and this whole situation up here. You're not paying attention to the soul aspect of of this situation. You're only paying attention to your human experience of the situation and they are very much two different things. Your human experience is what goes on up here. What goes on up here creates the whole rest of it, right? Your soul experience starts in the chest and permeates to every other aspect. 
you're not taking into, cons into consideration the soul aspect of this whole situation. The star in reverse. And it's not purposeful for your path, your future, your life, your, your everything. It's, it's not purposeful. Yearning possibly after some kind of renewal of this situation, it's not possible. The past is the past, and there is nothing that you can do to change not one thing about it. The Hierophant in reverse. Um, this is a need to reevaluate a belief system. The Hierophant in reverse reiterates that this was a significant relationship up here that burned down. The Hierophant in reverse says that there needs to be a reevaluation of a belief system, the cornerstones that you stand upon right now cannot bear the weight of what the universe is trying to bring into your life because you're crawling through the rubble of the tower. The Hierophant in Reverse is about recreating the foundational belief system of your life. Why did this happen, right? How did this happen? What part did I play in this happening? And when you describe it to other people, are you like, yeah, it was a shit show and man, he or she was an idiot. They were stupid and everything was just their fault and the whole show was just stupid. Is that how you describe it? Or do you say, you know, I had a really, really good relationship with that person at one time. And um, because of situations and circumstances that we couldn't work through, um, we decided to part ways. Um, yeah, it got a little bit ugly a little bit, but you know what? I grew and I learned and um, I'm a different person and a better person because of it. How? Are you describing it to people? Because that's the self-talk that's going on inside of your head. Listen to your self-talk because the foundation by which you are standing is not enough to hold what the universe wants to bring into your life. The sun in reverse. You don't even see it. You don't even see it. You just don't even see it. To the six of wands in reverse. You don't see why there is a lack of success. Four of Wands. Commitment, stability, safety, foundation. Okay? It's, it's, it's a card about a steady, stable, inspirational kind of relationship. And remember, this relationship is part of your path and your purpose. Okay? To the Page of Cups. Um, it's, it's coming. It's going to come. It, it is going to come. How you engage with it will depend on its long-term success or not. But it's going to come because it is significant for you to engage with it. And if you engage with it in this shitty-ass mindset up here, then you're going to screw it up. And it's not going to be everything that it could have and should have been for you. And you'll have to do it over again at some point in, in, in the whole grand scheme of things. It's a significant relationship that you need to pay attention to, that you need to be ready for. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Wands and the Five of Pentacles over here. Tell me about these, please. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Wands. Is this about coming out of the cold? Is this about coming out of a place of spiritual poverty? Uh-huh, look to that Seven of Pentacles and the Alchemist in reverse and the Five of Swords. I cannot make this shit up. So... So, so, so. Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's a card about coming out of a place of spiritual poverty. Okay? Coming out of a place of spiritual poverty. The King of Wands in reverse. Uh, this place of spiritual poverty that it's talking about is where the unsuccessful, defeated piece of you lives. That is this shit show up here. Okay? That is this King of Wands in reverse. It's defeated. It's a lack of confidence. It's a lack of desire. A lack of interest. A lack, a lack, a lack, a lack. All the way around. 
to the Page of Wands because there is a new opportunity and they need you to get a little fired up about pulling yourself out of the mire because there is a new opportunity that's coming to you. The Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. You have every element here, brand new manifestation which goes back to the Ten of Cups, that is going to bring you an opportunity to create in your life new peace in your sense of inspirations, new peace in your sense of emotions, new peace in your sense of well-being. This is new, brand new opportunity everywhere. And I just asked, right, that Five of Pentacles in reverse, what's that about? And the Seven of Pentacles showed itself first in reverse, and it goes right back to the same Seven of Pentacles that we just harped on a little while ago up here, right? If you want to rehear that, stop, rewind, and go listen to it again. That same Seven of Pentacles in reverse, this, this lack of desire to change something about yourself, Five of Swords, is the mindset that is creating the blockage for everything. The lovers in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, and the three of cups, hold on, to the three of wands in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse, and the nine of swords in reverse. And then we got these guys over here. Okay. All right. What these cards are saying... The lovers in reverse. Misaligned relationship. That was this tower relationship up here. Misaligned relationship. Okay? Um, to the high priestess in reverse. Because source wasn't involved. Universe wasn't involved. You, you created this all by yourself back in the day before you knew any better. Okay? And it really didn't have the foundation to, to go the distance anyway. Okay? High priestess in reverse. To the three of wands in reverse. This is obstacles, not understanding, not releasing this and understanding the spiritual aspect of things is obstacles to the long-term goals. What's the obstacle to the long-term goal? The eight of cups in reverse. Emotional hopelessness to the nine of swords in reverse. Emotional anxiety, despair, and pain. Okay, I got to be careful how I say that because YouTube doesn't like that, so I might want to edit this. Hold on. Hold on, let me do that piece again, okay? Because seriously, they don't like the Nine of Swords for some reason, okay? Um, the, the, because it talks about, well, yeah. So the Three of Wands in reverse, right? Obstacles to your long-term goals. To the Eight of Cups in reverse. Emotional hopelessness. And the, the Nine of Swords in reverse being a place of um, extreme um, mental despair, okay? That's, that's what's going on with you. To the Three of Cups. Um, the universe needs you to snap out of this because you're about to meet a, this significant person. You're about to meet them. The, I'm not kidding you, Taurus. They are about to walk into your life somehow, some way, for whomever this reading is for, and it might not be for you. Okay, somehow, some way, this person is getting ready to walk into your life, and you need to be ready. Okay, the Knight of Cups, here it comes. You need to be ready to be able to exchange emotions in a way that is productive and effective instead of, of not productive and effective like you are right now in that gooey mire. Okay, here it comes. The Magician and Death. Um, death is an ending, change, transformation. The magician is manifestation. Okay, They want you to manifest this because that's how shit becomes a reality, Taurus. You pull it into existence. You, you do. I mean, if I could just scream that from the rooftops, it's not about eyes on the prize and storyboards and law of attraction. It is literally in every single human being to put their mind in the direction of what their guts are leading them to do so they can take action action and create in their emotions and their sense of well-being what it is they want their life to be. 
They need you to be focusing on the message that you were just given, death, so your whole energetic vibration can change so this can literally materialize in your life. Straight up. Scouts on her, Taurus. That's what's happening here. They need you to thin the veil so it can is so it can come through like osmosis and become part of your life. But they can't send it through if your free will is vested in all of this ooey gooey stuff up here. Okay? Now, there's a, a line here, right? You can manifest this by getting out of this mindset that you're in in one of two ways. You can manifest it and it will leak through and that's going to be those of you who come into this meeting with someone and you're not ready to handle the kind of relationship that this truly needs to be and can be in your life. Or you're going to open that veil and it's going to pour into your life and you are going to rise to the occasion and handle your business from a soul universal perspective. Rise to the occasion and handle your business because now you know and understand that this relationship is significant to the future. Don't know how long, don't know how far, but it is significant to the future. Okay, five of wands, conflict, 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 page of swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, the ten of wands, burden and struggle, okay, a couple of different aspects here, okay, your internal conflict makes you unable to do what it is that you need to do because you are carrying a burden and a struggle from the past that has no destination. It's carrying it round in circles, round and round and round and round. Okay? And this is foolishness with the fool in reverse. Absolute foolishness. Not your path, not your purpose, not the direction of your life. It is foolishness. Okay? Okay. Um, conflict, your internal conflict, page of swords in reverse, about all talk, no action, and undelivered promises of this relationship that crumbled. Okay? Carrying that burden with you aimlessly is foolishness. Absolute foolishness. I mean, and that's why I talked about a futile mindset in the Seven of Swords. It's just ridiculous to hold on to something that you can do absolutely nothing about. Crazy talk. Six of Swords. Leave that mental bullshit behind you. The hangman. Surrender. Surrender. Two, the grief and the sorrow and the pain that it was. But learn what it is that you need to learn about it. It's time to get a new perspective. The Five of Swords. This white knuckle grip on this win at all costs mentality that you have. What's the win at all costs mentality? Maybe the Queen of Swords in reverse. I had no responsibility in any of this. Even if you never did one thing. Uh, let me tell you this. Even if you were in a horrifically abusive relationship with someone that you did not even realize at the time was going to turn out to be an abusive person. There is still an accountability on your side for the choices that you made. Because I guarantee you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, you had red flags, you had signs and synchronicities that told you that this was not in your best and highest good, and you did it anyway. So you do take some accountability, even if you were not on the bad end of things. channeled message. Queen of Swords in reverse, in denial. 
the page of pentacles in reverse about why you can't about why you can't manifest to the 10 of cups in reverse about why you are unhappy page of wands says snap to it let's get some fire under our feet let's let's explore and discover the tower in reverse my god i can't make this up let's explore and discover and get excited about the personal transformation that we are stepping out of from the tower moment to the sun aha see clearly the path to happiness, success, and vitality, strength, is in you overcoming and not succumbing to this situation. Your strength lies in the Six of Cups in reverse. Your strength lies in not remaining in the past, not trying to reconcile the past. To the Emperor, take control of yourself and control of your life because this person right here this emperor on a superficial level this emperor is who is being divinely orchestrated into your life this could be anybody this could be a judge this could be a man this could be a woman this could be um, some kind of authority figure this could be a business partner this could be an employer this could be the 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 emperor to your empress in a love situation this could be a mother or a father Okay, this person is being divinely orchestrated into your life. How do I know that? Because I asked, I needed some clarification. At the end of this, you'll see, you've seen it in the fast forward video, okay? I asked, what is this about? Is this about love? Foundations and achievements. It is about what it is that you are trying to achieve in your life. The Empress. It is about you becoming the Empress so you can join forces with this Emperor. It's about you getting ready to join forces with this opportunity. The Empress is Lesson 3, and you have all of them in this reading. Lesson 1 is the Magician. What you think about comes about, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, what ruminates in your subconscious mind becomes your reality. I will die on that mountain. Lesson two is, the, is your intuition, the high priestess. Your soul speaks to your consciousness through your intuition. And if you will lead it and follow it, it will always take you in the direction of your best and highest good. I will die on that mountain too. The Empress is the culmination of those two understandings in the internal world of the human being where you begin to learn and develop a belief system that you can control your mind and follow your guts with it and it will consistently lead you to endless creation in your life. I'll die on that mountain too. <laughs> Those are the three most important things that we need to understand. And you doing that and understanding those two concepts, pulling it into yourself, stepping into your power as the Empress, opens the door for the way that this relationship is really supposed to be. Because if you enter it half-ass unhealthy and not ready, it's, it's not going to be what it could be for you. And then the chariot. Seven, the number of reflection and assessment, just like that seven of pentacles in reverse. Reflection and assessment, right? Puts you in a position to triumph over this obstacle in your life. What's the obstacle? This shit show that you're stuck in back here. Put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what it is you got to do. And it will roll your way, Taurus. It will. It will. Bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. Hierophant. You, Taurus, deciphering the messages from whatever you call the Most High, internalizing it, and spitting it out to be your life. Commitment. Marriage. Contracts. King of Cups in reverse. I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's been here like three times. This is where you're stuck. 
you're stuck in the nine of cups in reverse and the universe with major arcana says this is the weakness remember over here your strength is found not being stuck in the past to the ace of wands get ready to receive a brand new opportunity eight of cups in reverse but staying stuck in a place of emotional hopelessness is going to prevent you from engaging fully engaging with it there you go you guys if you want any kind of clarification about any of this for your own personal life hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org and we'll read your cards and if you want a reading from me every single tuesday guaranteed by noon you can join my membership on my channel and uh, it's like 20 bucks it's like 20 bucks a month and you get a reading on every tuesday from me by noon namaste